Right now we're joined by campaigner Alicia Page. Um, Alicia, you are with Bloody Good Employers. Can you tell us a little bit about that campaign? Yeah, absolutely. So Bloody Good Employers is a social enterprise and we are changing the way that people think about periods and menopause in the workplace. We're also part of the charity Bloody Good Period. So all of the profit that we make from our work is donated to get period products and education to people who need them across the UK. It's 2024. How come periods are still such an issue in the workplace? Yeah, although it might seem shocking to some of us, actually, I'd say the majority of people aren't talking about or considering periods in the workplace. So over the last few years, there's been much more of a focus on menopause, which is really great and reassuring to see. And that's really opened up the conversation for us to make sure that we're not ignoring periods and everything that comes before menopause. Um, so really to help illustrate some of the challenges, our research found that 89% of people had experienced stress or anxiety around their period at work, that 25% of people had felt like their career progression had been negatively impacted due to taking time off and you know that's really important for us to consider when we have targets around better gender diversity and getting more women into senior leadership positions um, and also this is a problem for businesses as well so a report that came out earlier this year by Inkind Direct told us that 3.25 billion pounds is the cost of days work lost due to period inequity in the UK every year. Wow that's incredible. Um, so if there's someone watching this at home um, a mem or one of our members or, and they're going into work on Monday morning, they think, wow, I really would like to do something. How, how fast can they make a change or what could they do? Yeah, so through our work, we've really seen the power that internal advocates can have in driving this agenda forward. So the, what I would recommend is firstly, uh, understanding your internal structure. Do you have people, EDI, HR teams that you can speak with about this? Do you have staff networks such as gender networks, women's networks, for example, who you can reach out to and have a conversation about this? Um, and yeah, I'd recommend getting in touch with them, maybe in partnership or reaching out to us directly um, at employers at bloodygoodperiod.com. We have advice and assets and resources on um, how you can get started on this journey and potentially work with us as well. Alicia, thank you very much. Thank you very much.